Okay, we are live on the official Vodacom Bulls podcast. We are joined by a new recruit, a man who's been absolutely ripping it up in the Champs Cup and in the URC most recently. It's given Coach Jake a massive headache at selection time at loose forward. It is, of course, Pilo Gomere. Pilo, thank you so much for joining us. Um, first question, I'll jump right into it, is I mentioned in the intro that you've given Jake quite a bit of a headache. And we spoke about all of these players that we've got at loose forward, you know, Marku Marcel, yourself, Hanakom, Ulrich Lowe, Nizam Kar. And we've got the saying that iron sharpens iron. So just a word on that and pushing each other to be better within, uh, within that loose forward department. Yeah, um, we, we obviously have a, a very good um, culture in, 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 in our team. And for, for me and um, Cameron and Alrich, we, it's, it's always good for us to, to learn from Marco, Marcel, Nizam, um, so Kyle as well. So we, we've got a, a very strong loose forwards um, 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 competition going on. But again, it's, it's very healthy. It's very healthy. Um, we, we help each other where we can. So I think it's a very good um, competition for us. So, Bilo, let's take it back, you know, um, to your days, you know, um, Zululand, you know, being born out of, um, you know, being born out of Zululand and then going to school in Fulwazi Primary and then um, Liber Republic and then DHA. So just tell us, you know, your journey, just from, you know, how a young man from Zululand makes it, you know, to the big town of rugby. Yeah, I actually started playing rugby in um, Fulwazi Primary School, which is a very small uh, school in Matuba. Matuba is also a small town. Is it flat? Uh, no, 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 it's, 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 um, it's actually by Richards Bay. Richards Bay, okay. Just a few, okay. few minutes away from okay. Richards Bay. Okay. So, yeah, I think I started playing rugby from a mistake in grade three, grade four. And then grade six, we had a tournament in, in Tlului. And then one of the, the coaches from NRS actually asked me if um, I'd like to come and, and join the school. Obviously, it's, 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 it's a full scholarship, so mm. it's... For me, it was a great opportunity. No also, at that time, I didn't think rugby was a thing. And mm. also, coming from a black family, you need to study, mm. you need to yeah. and go work. You know, it, there's no such as you just need to go play rugby out of the. I was blue. actually going to ask you that, Pilo. You know, you know, I was, I was, well, I was reluctant to ask, but since since yeah. you brought it up, because you know, as a black player growing up, your parents at the beginning, oh, yeah. they're really skeptical about it. Um, knowing about my parents, my mom didn't want me to play rugby until <laughs> yeah. like grade four, but I just carried on playing. You know, uh, was it the same with you? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. For long, until I was like uh, in high school as mm. well, like maybe like grade 11, then they started, you know, mm. saying, oh, okay, this is there's something out of this. But still, they're there. They, they want you to study. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so from, from Amphalozi, mm. I went to NRS, that was 2013. So that was my grade 7 year. Okay. So I went to um, NRS, and then I had a... I had a good season there, and then I got a half scholarship, so I got 50% scholarship mm. in DHS. DHS yeah. um, and then from there, everything just um, started there. Yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and was it early DHS that came for you? Or the yeah, it, well, you definitely mentioned them. <laughs> yeah, I, I think grade, my grade seven year wasn't like the best. I didn't make any provincial, uh, provincial teams, mm-hmm. I didn't make. Um, uh, what, what is it? Craven Week. Craven Week out of 13. I didn't make that. I didn't, I didn't make wow. any, any of those. So also, the, I think the, the coaching staff were also gambling on me. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I got the uh, 50% scholarship and I told my mom, look, please, I, I need this one. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, your mom must have seen there. I mean, it's going to flip on good school and yeah, it is. as well. You know what I mean? So it's a bit of both for sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he knew I was going to go there and study. Yeah. For her, it was mostly study. So rugby still was in front of mind for your family when you went? No, no, never. And never. What, what, do you come from a rugby family? Like is rugby... No, know, no, not at all. Not Even at all. sports in general. I'm, I'm mm. the only person who plays sports wow. out of my entire extended family. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so that, that was a first okay, generation. journey for me. Yeah. 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 So, then, so then DHS, you're not going to like a proper uh, a rugby school, a renowned rugby school yeah. um, to some degree. What? What, <laughs> what is? I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, no shade, obviously. Um, so what's, what was that transition like? Like going to now um, proper coaching, uh, more of a limelight on you, more of an expectation, maybe even a little bit more pressure, you know, on half a bursary to make it in rugby as well. Yeah. What was that transition like? To be honest with you, there was not much of pressure for me. For was just enjoying rugby, mm. playing with your mates. Um, there, there was never pressure. The only time where my mind was like, actually, rugby is something, 
was when I made uh, Grand Como. Under 16. Under 16. Yeah. So, and that, that time I was like, well, to be honest with you, I never thought I'd make it as well, you know. Yeah. You're just joining, just playing rugby with mates, mm. enjoying, mm. you know, uh, there was no pressure. Then I started doing a bit of extras because I thought, you know, coaches said you must do this, do that. Then maybe rugby started becoming a thing then. But before that, even then, it was still like just rugby. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And then, um, you know, um, and were you always an eight man, uh, a loose forward? He, you know, I was a log. Lock into lock. Yeah. Yeah, lock. yeah, I was a log. So, so you're always a, you're always a, a yeah, the, the, the tallest guy. Tall, yeah. Yeah, one of the taller guys. Tall, yeah. Okay, cool. No, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, so then, so then Grand Coma happens. Now there's a, a bit of a switch in your head that maybe this mm. rugby thing could actually be a career for me going forward. Did you make any changes to your outlook, one, and two, your preparation and the amount of effort you put in perhaps off the field and all of that after it? Or was it still jawling with me? No, it's still jawling. <laughs> still jawling? <laughs> Love it. Still jawling, okay. Bro. Like, maybe the, the, the only time I started changing a few things was when I was uh, first in captain, mm. you okay. know. Um, um, yeah, but... But then all the, the next year you made SA schools, right? Yes, yes. So yeah. even then it was still... Rugby was still about, you know, having fun, enjoying yourself. Yeah, it's always been like that. The only time that I saw feeling a bit of pressure was when at AC schools, you know, when mm. we, because you could see the setup. Um, you almost feel like you're out of place. Yeah. Um, the setup was just like hectic, you know. We had trainings at times. We had, mm. you know, uh, we had to see dietitians. I'm thinking, oh, what am I saying? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So a lot of things I knew now. So I think that was like... Uh, um, the one thing in my life where it started being more professional. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'm sorry, okay. I just, I just, you, you mentioned a, like an, an awesome story to us off air about how you got your nickname. I think it ties in perfectly with going to SA school. So yeah. just yeah. chat to me how entering that environment and then getting the nickname that you received, which was? Yeah, Bricky. Bricky. Okay, yeah, tell, tell again, it was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> It can, it can mean uh, two things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah. That's why I actually did. I don't like it like yeah, this, but I like it. It can mean two things. So, um, like I said, when I, when I got to, to that environment, it was like, you know, it was like too professional for me. I like meetings and after meetings, after meetings, I'm thinking, yo, this is hectic. So I was like, almost like a, took a step back. I was like, no. You know what I mean? And trainings were hard, like, like really hard. Um, so I was like quiet, I didn't speak, um, I didn't want to carry, uh, just nothing. So all I did was just tackle, tackle, tackle. So that's how I got my name, Bricky, because I didn't speak. Um, there was just nothing. All I did was just take. I, I, I won't be calling you that. <laughs> <It's unseen. laughs> but, but Mark, you know, I'm Peter, so I know you're here, but I'm just quickly, Mark, you know, Mark, our Pilo plays, maybe that fearless nature of like, you know, just able to just play without yeah. no fear comes from, you know, those yeah, days maybe. of, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. just trolling because, you know, you, sometimes you're throwing offloads and you just, it feels like you're playing with like, yeah. you know, we're going to get no to that pressure. offload against yeah. 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 We'll dedicate a whole segment to that. But yeah. sticking with, with DHS, Craven Week, yeah. under 18, um, what was okay? So you, you come back from SA schools. Your nickname is Bricky. You captain of DHS in your matric year career. Yeah, matric year. Because yeah. I remember watching you play Craven Week then. It was 2018. Yeah. I mean, I, you were, in my opinion, by far the best eighth man at the competition. It was. Mm. I mean, I've, I've been a big fan of you for a long time. Not to use Yanis Kirsten blowing smoke up your trumpet. <laughs> it's, I've, I've been a big fan. And, up your chimney. Up your chimney. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so just chat me through now. You've been named captain. It's a huge honor for the school that gave you a shot when yeah. you were 13, 14 years old. What was that privilege, that honor like? Also, um, I, was, I wasn't really captain, captain. So we had a, so you know how you had a, before the season starts, you have a, a team thing and then they announce the captain, the vice, I was the vice captain. Okay. So our captain got injured, it was Luandile Menze. He got injured, like first came out, if I'm, I think it's Hilton, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. He got injured and then I then became the captain the, for the rest of the season. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how I actually became captain. So Luandila was captain, then he got injured, and I took after him. Yeah. Did you talk more? Would you say then when you in your natural environment playing for DHS, like that nickname Bricky didn't really apply, uh, or you kind of forced to talk more now that you? You've been yeah, to I was. Like I'm never. Uh, I'm never that guy that I have. I, no, mm -hmm. I was. I wasn't talking that much. 
and lead you know, by example. Yeah, lead by example. Maybe. Yeah. 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 And at DHS, like as you see, there's yourself now and there's Pepsi, obviously. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 off the top of my head, is there like a. Um, it feels like you guys, the DHS produces great loose forwards, young black loose forwards. Is there like an emphasis put on the on the loose forward, how you guys play the game? Because it seems like they're just coming out of there now. You guys are churning them out. No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, actually, Pips and I are very close mates, uh, mm -hmm. one of my, my best friends. Um, no, I don't think that's a thing. Are, yeah, I feel yeah. Sanele, the scrum off, is from DHS. Fair, well, fair, you know fair, I mean, yeah. I think it just happened. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't say it's it's just a, a Lucy thing coming sure, from DHS. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's let's fast forward now. You you leave school, you leave DHS, you go to the Sharks. Um, what was that like getting that professional or getting that contract and getting that opportunity at a union? I assume you were a Sharks fan. Spent your whole life uh, in KZN. What was that like going to that union? Yeah, it was almost like a, a dream come true, to be honest with you. Um, it was just in my head the entire time. I actually, go, speaking about my family, that's when actually my family thought, oh, it's a, it's it's a, a thing, thing. it's yeah. actually money out of this, you know. Uh, but for me, it was, I've always been um, wanting to be a Sharks player one day, you know. Um, so it was a dream come true for me. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, when you were uh, at Durban Collegiate, right? Um, did you play for them while you were at the Sharks in like your in your first couple of years? When did you play? I uh, see you played for. You said you played for Durban Collegiate. Uh, no, actually, I, didn't, I, I played for them in the junior school. So in like uh, under, under 14, 15. Oh, uh, really? Well, yeah. In the club system, I didn't know that. Yeah, I only played. I, I only played under 14, 15. Uh, okay. And then the, that was it. Okay, got yeah. you. Got you. Okay, yeah. we'll we'll move over that that union that you played for quickly. But yeah, just, please. Let's let's uh, <laughs> let's just move on. <laughs> Okay, so you then get a shot with, with the Vodacom Bulls. And I mean, it was... Okay, I'll get to what I was going to say in a minute. But So you, you, you sign with the Vodacom Bulls. You make this leap from the, your childhood team, the team that you'd grown up supporting, always wanting to be a Sharks player. You were a Sharks player. Probably not getting as many opportunities as you wanted. You get an opportunity to come to the Vodacom Bulls and take that leap. Talk me through that jump. Hey, to be honest with you, I won't lie. It was a, a very tough decision. Um, I never thought I'd leave there, you know. Uh, but um, when I when I got the opportunity, I thought maybe you know it's 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 it's, it's going to be a life changing opportunity. But you never know. I mean, mm. in rugby, you never know what's going to happen. They never the the, the the grass is never greener on the other side. Mm. Um, you know, it was actually um, a very tough decision because of the I mean Pretoria, Gauteng, Afrikaans, yeah. Bulls. So I thought that was the the most um, thing that was in my head, yeah. thinking. Yeah, see, what cultural. am I doing? Yeah. yeah, but obviously I didn't know Bulls then. Yeah. All I knew, I just see from the outside. I didn't know anything. Yeah. yeah, but for me coming in here, probably I haven't played for a lot of teams. Probably one of the best culture um, I've, in in a team environment I've ever been in. You know, it's it's it's. it's I promise you, it's the best for me. Wow. So far, yeah. yeah, and it's nothing um, what I thought it would come out. You know. It's nothing close to what I was thinking, you know. I think I had this chat with Coach Jack uh, as well. I told him, I was like, this is absolutely amazing. amazing. It's different than what I thought, you know, um, from an outsider looking, you know, from that side. But being in here and experiencing everything, I mean, the players, you know, it's just amazing, I promise you. Yeah. And does that, um, you know, Konal was saying that, you know, you come here with the aspirations of becoming a legend, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, you've been here now and you've, you've had some great you know, performances out there. And do you want to become a Bulls legend now? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 50, 100 caps, 150 out of Yeah, I just want to be here. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a, for me, it's the best environment I've never, ever been in. So it's, it's good for me. So, 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 we, so we can put the black and white dynamite in the bin, eh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, so speaking of dynamite, let's, let's chat your debut against, a Vodacom Bulls debut against Leon. Mm. Um, I mean, massive, massive fixture. And then you give off that incredible offload to set up Sergio Peterson. Just chat me through what's going through your head going into that game and then that offload itself. Um... I think I have. I always have the same feeling. To any any game, warm up game, big game. You know, it, I just have the same feeling. Um, speaking about that offload, actually, I think I've always uh, liked being a little bit loose playing. Mm. You know, um, yeah. I actually didn't see Sergio properly. I saw him just just here. You know, uh, and be funny enough, we just we spoke about it. He thought uh, I flew it out. I'm saying. It can be a 50-50. I think I did a, a little bit, but mm. um, I didn't seem like perfectly. That, 
but I, you know, I got it, I got, I got it away. Rolled the dice. <laughs> yeah. You're on, you're on your way out. So I, I was on my yeah. way out. So in my head, I thought, there's two but, ways. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go out. I don't think the coaches will like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or I keep it alive. Yeah. You know. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then um, so obviously uh, you're getting all this game time, and then you're, this European competition, right? Um, okay, we've been asking a lot of the guys who are coming on. You know, you know a lot of the people at home are starting to get used to it. Um, would you say the, the you know, European rugby is the biggest, or the after the World Cup, the biggest the competition, pinnacle. the pinnacle of club rugby? There you go. Yeah, I, th I think. Um, Thanks. Sure, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say much about Super Rugby because I play, only played one yeah. um, one game for Super Rugby. But yeah, it is tough. Mm -hmm. it, it is a tough competition mentally. You need to be prepared every week of big, big performance, physicality. You know, and you pair that with the URC as well, which exactly. is a cakewalk. <laughs> exactly. It's every week. It's just, so it's 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 for me. It is probably the toughest competition. Yeah, you know, sure. after after World Cup, obviously. Yeah. Then you, you play Bristol, um, have a phenomenal game against Bristol as well. You play, obviously, you start playing URC, you play the Stormers, Cape Town, you come off the bench, you make a big impact. You're starting to like, get some momentum, generate some momentum. What's, like, people are starting to talk about you, like this, yeah. this kid's come out of nowhere, he's, he's playing incredible rugby. What's going through your head at the time? You seem like a very like, chill, what's up, I'm going to say Rista. Yeah, Rista. I'll say it off But what's, what's the, does the thought process change or are you still just like, I'm just going out there and expressing myself, enjoying No, my no, I don't think it changes, eh? Um, I think we all have different reasons for why we do things in life, you know? So for me, it's still the same drive, I mean, it's still the same drive. I wake up every morning thinking, um, I still need to do this, and I'm not anyway close to that, you know. Um, so the hype is just, you know, it's just noises around around my head. But besides that, I know what I'm looking for. I know where I'm going and what I need in, in this life. So yeah. And if you just take it back to your signing, um, Kutam Kulmune. So did he sign first, right? For the book? Yeah, he signed first. He signed first. Yeah. So did he have any? What did he have uh, any word in your ear? No, actually, it, it, it's so funny how we didn't speak about it. Really? We never spoke about it until like the l after he signed, and I was like, "You are actually signing the side, eh?" Yeah. <laughs> so it was never a thing where we spoke about it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. when he signed, were you like, "Okay, cool. If Mutumbi can do it, come on, I can do it." Now. Yeah, yeah. It was. I won't lie to you. It felt better. Yeah. No, but it, it actually it did make a, a bit of a difference because you're sure. like, okay, at least, you know. Yeah. But at, at that time, I've already, I was also so close to signing as well. So, yeah, yeah I, I was really close to signing, yeah. I mean, oh, I mean, the Sharks have made an absolute abomination. <laughs> 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 okay, so we, we, we chat about some noise and, and you know, you, you and Kuta coming here and some youngsters coming through. Um, another youngster is coming through here to Vodacom Bulls and he happens to be in your position is Cameron Hanukom. And he, I mean, he kind of took the world by storm at the beginning of the season. He had that yeah. man of the match game against Scarlet. And, you know, he wasn't really front or centre when you, when you think about the composition of the Bulls lose trio. And then you come along and you give us exactly all as fans the same thought. What is it like two young up and coming eighth men kind of both incredibly hungry vying for that role? Is there that bit of competition there? I mean, there has to be, healthy. but at the same time, it's, as you mentioned earlier, it's healthy, you want what's best for the team and all of that. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before, like it's, it's a very good competition for me. I'm sure it is for him as well, because um, we're both young, um, so there's not that feeling of, you know, uh, it's my position or it's whose position. Mm. No, we, it's no, nobody's position. Eh? But at the end of the day, we, 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 we both surely want something similar, the same goal to probably play for the box one day. Um, so, it's a healthy competition. I mean, um, I wouldn't say anything like either than it's a healthy competition. We get along, you know, good teammates. And I think we also learn from each other. I, mean, I learn from him as well. Um, fantastic, fantastic guy, especially out of, out of rugby. Like, you know, he's a very good guy. Yeah, so on that point, you also then got an opportunity to play together in the same loose trio. You yeah. shifted over to seven, him at eight. What I was, like that. What was that like? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was good. Um, it, was, it was really good. He's, he's, um, he's got very good feet, uh, good hands, good skills. <laughs> he's a crazy good player. I, I don't lie to you. Mm. Uh, that's why I, said I also learned from him. Mm. You know, I learned a lot from him. He's, uh, he's very fit. He's strong in the gym. So there's a lot to learn from him as well. Uh, do you guys play um, together at SS schools? 
No, he's, I think he's two years younger than me, so we, we didn't catch up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then, um, you know, I want to quickly ask, and I always ask the forwards because I'm a big fan of Andres Becker, okay? Yeah. Andres Becker, yeah. he's influenced on you, you know, um, you know, he's influenced on, on the forwards. Yeah. And then also, just a word on Gary Gold because we've seen our defence really improve. A big, step, a yeah. big step from last season, do you know what I mean? So, Jeff, can you please tell us just like, um, you know, an in, a bit of an insight yeah. about um, Andres Becker, his role, and then Gary Gold's influence on the defence? I think, um, again, he's probably one of the best forwards coach I've, that has, I've ever worked with. Um, he's, I think f f he knows players from a player's um, s um, side because he's been a player before. So we, we, we get along, there's a good relationship amongst the forwards. So I think it's a good lingo that, um, that, that, that goes around. Yeah. But besides that, he's, he's a great coach. I mean, but he's, I mean, we all know him as a great Springbok and he, he doesn't take nonsense. We, we yet to work, but if we're having fun, we're having fun as a team. But other than that, we get along nicely. And then technically, has he improved some of the way you play? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I, I, I prepare more now. I, mean, I need to make sure I know my, my work. Mm. And so he doesn't put pressure, but you as a player, you feel like you need to step up your, your work here. Yeah. And then Gary Gold, and then he's like, yeah. I mean, he's def it, it suits me as well. You know, I, I think it's, he's been he's given us a lot of confidence. You know, obviously coming in into a team as a defensive coach is not an easy thing to do. But I mean, we uh, we've um, bought in into the system that he has given us. Has, and has he brought a new system? Would you say? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't know. But it's slightly different from what I'm, <clears throat> I'm used to. Yeah. But again, uh, I'm fitting very nicely, and yeah, I think it's 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 it's, it's, it's quite good. But fair question for Mark. But the guys around you, do they, yeah. do they say it's it's a it's a it's different from what they used to? Um, oh, they, they, oh, yeah, we haven't been speaking about, speak about it. Actually, yeah. Just get on with it. We just get on with it. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. Okay, yeah. I've got one more question before we go into the game. So um, um, I am. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. we're good. I think last last main question, and we've just got three games to go through. Uh, is what do you want to achieve at the Vodacom Bulls? I know it's a big question. Yeah. What do you want to achieve personally and in terms of the franchise? Um, <clears throat> to be honest with you, then another big reason why I chose ACDS to come in here is because of the winning culture. Now I'm speaking before I came here, i um, looking from the outside. It's the winning culture and uh, the amount of tro trophies we've got. So that would drives me, you know, one day I want to sit with my kids and say, I've got three curry cups, two URC, yes. you, know, you, know what I'm, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's one of my biggest goals um, still like right now, because I haven't won any trophy in my life, so I'm thinking um, it's a winning culture, that's where you want to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's one of my biggest goals, just to, to uh, play well as a team, um, connect and win trophies. Uh, but personally, also, I want to obviously be a Springbok one day. Yeah. So that's, that's the biggest dream as well, you know what I mean? So for me to, to work hard, get to, to the point where I become a great Springbok. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure I'm sure with the change of God by um, Marky and Philly Peel, I'm sure your time is going to come, hopefully, <laughs> soon. Hopefully. And, uh, you know, with the, with, with, with the new thing. And then the question I want to ask, just URC, European and URC aspirations, obviously, like all this Mark, you know, you're going for the treble, yeah. Um, um, can, can, you, can you feel the pressure from, from Pretoria, the, the, the fans um, in the URC and in Europe? In Europe well, the yeah, positivity. Yeah, the positivity. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the pressure. The positive, yeah, 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 positive pressure. Yeah, the positive pressure. Yeah. From the fans, because if you go out there, a lot of the people think we are going to win this URC oh. and we've got a big chance of winning the, the, you know, the, um, the Champions Cup. Can you feel that? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah, I'm sure anything big comes with pressure. I mean, mm. you know, it is positive, it is good pressure, but at the end of the day, this pressure, you know, um, there is pressure, but we know as players what we, um, we, we want to achieve, uh, but, and that's still the goal. As much as there's pressure, there's, you know, um, yeah, but also from my side, I, I also believe we have a, a big opportunity of winning this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Composure and control, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Composure okay, cool. and control. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some quick fire questions, so yeah. just off the top of the dome. Rugby hero growing up? Uh, I never had. Rugby hero yeah. now, maybe? Um, now, maybe. Skull Burger. Top Burger. Yep. Highlights of your career so far? I know it's short, but... Uh, that Leon game. 
Yeah. Leon game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Beer or brandy? Uh, beer. beer. <laughs> uh, tackling or carrying? Carrying. Toughest player you ever played against? I think it's Ben from uh, Bordeaux. Ben from Bordeaux. Ben from Bordeaux. What yeah. position play? Yeah, uh, prop. A oh, big Ben. Big oh, ben. come on, Ben. Come on, Yeah, big Ben. Oh, oh my Jesus. word, he is. Yeah, okay. we were yeah, commentating yeah. the wow. game. He was killing that us. Is, that's the biggest person I've ever seen. Yo, toughest guy to take off so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. offshore. Okay. Yeah. Bush or beach? Beach. Beach. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 of course. No, yeah, yeah, sure. Most challenging aspect of being a rugby player? Uh, pressure. Favorite sport outside of rugby? Soccer. Uh, <laughs> pre-game locker room, sorry, pre-game locker room or post-game celebration? Uh, post-game celebration. Oh, you, you go through so much before the game. Um, you're in your head. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. Well, that's awesome. We're going to we call it blind rating. So one to five, I'm going to say a name of a player, right? You must just select where you put them. Um, and I'm uh, sorry, yeah, a yeah. player, and you, you must select where you put them. You know, you know which player I'm going to say next. Okay, so from one to five. One to five, yeah. So it's going to be um, great Springbok 8 men. Well, Box of food on the eight. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, let's start. Bob Skinstead. Ooh. Three. Three. Okay. Donny Rousseau. Yes, I saw that coming. Four. 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 PSPs? My word. Um, two. Joe Funny Cack? Yeah, that's hard, because who's one now? Five. Don't forget. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool. The, the last one we're going to do is to build the ultimate eight. So I'm going to give you an aspect like ball carry, yes. and you're going to tell me who you think the best eight man of all time in that position was. Okay. That like around the world, or it has to be South Africans? No, anywhere in the world. Okay. Ball carry. Um, Dwayne Vermeulen. Physicality. Uh, Adi Savia. Athleticism. Um, give it to Adi as well. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Skill, like finesse. Do it. Adi as well. Adi as well. Yeah, Adi as well. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to, do you have any other answer there? Um, <laughs> or do you want to change physicality? Okay, let's change physicality. Um, oh, I've got a name. Uh, I believe in Napoleon. Aldrich? And Gregory Aldrich, yeah. Who? <laughs> Aldrich. He's a player, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very tough, eh? Because. <sighs> they speak as well for, for skill or for athleticism. Uh, no, I think Audi has the Best skill for me. Okay. Um, Let's give it to Audi then, mate. Yeah, well, well, okay, well, what, what else? Maybe we can change it up. Well, What's what's other expect? Well, there's there's athleticism. Okay, PSP. PSP. So PSP. Cool. Um, stealing or jackling? Stealing or jackling? Um, does it have to be at eight or? Probably best? not an out and out eight. Okay, yeah. then, okay, we can say David Parker. Okay, well, he has played eight a lot yeah, yeah, for Australia yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, and then lastly, is tackling. Tackling. Back yourself here, should you? <laughs> can I can I give you two names? Man? Yeah, go for it. Tackling, I'd say uh, Dwayne. Um, yeah, I think Dwayne. Dwayne, yeah. cool. Perfect, there we go. Cool. Thank Good. you so much. Thank you so much. Peter, oh, appreciate you your so time. Much. Good Good Thank you. Cool, happy. Yeah, well, what else do you want to do? <laughs> 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 that's the outro. Yeah, that's the outro. That's the outro.